Hey everyone, welcome back to the Unedited Minds, where young achievers share their incredible, unfiltered, and real journey. Today's guest is someone who is truly extraordinary. He is the youngest Google certified Python developer, a robotic enthusiast, and a thinker who is building his ideas into real solutions for the world. Welcome to the Unedited Minds, Hitanj. I am so excited to have you here today. Thank you. Your story is such an amazing mix of technology, creativity, and discipline, and I know everyone in the audience is absolutely going to love it. You are the youngest Google certified Python developer. What inspired you to start coding so early? Mm -hmm. So I've always been curious about uh, how things work, especially computers and apps. So when I was about seven, I saw my dad using Excel and other programs. So and I wanted to know how they were made. So that's when I discovered Python. It felt like learning a secret language to make the computer do what I wanted. Once I started coding small apps and tools and games, I couldn't stop. I wanted to keep learning day by day. So I know I'm not a really tech savvy person, but what is Python? So Python is a coding language which is uh, used to make games and apps. Oh, okay, that's nice. How did you learn Python? So I started uh, with uh, uh, with making small app based programs, and then I uh, and then I developed a lot of interest. So I started making web-based programs. You mentioned studying eight to ten hours per day. That too during your holidays. That is serious dedication. What kept you so focused at such a young age? So honestly, I loved what I was learning. So it never felt like studying. I divided my time coding, reading, and learning new things online. So I also took small breaks. a to play or listen to music which helped me to stay fresh um my family also encouraged me a lot and that motivation kept me going when you enjoy what you do focus comes naturally for me i cannot focus for more than 1 hour hitanj hey, can you please tell me about eco bright your street light project what problem were you trying to solve eco bright is a project I made to save electricity and make streets safer. So the idea is to reduce electricity and or uh, that the street lights turn on only when a vehicle or person passes by. And using motion sensors, I made this project. This helps reduce uh, electricity wastage and energy wastage because the lights don't stay on the whole night unnecessarily, and it's great for areas that don't have smart lighting facilities. That's so smart. Turning something so simple, just like a street light, into something so smart and eco-friendly and efficient is something really cool. Thanks. You also write stories and poems. That's a really unique mix with coding. How does creativity help you with technology? Writing and coding are both about imagination and structure. So when I write stories or poems. i think creatively and emotionally that helps me when i'm coding because i can come up with unique solutions to problems also writing uh, teaches patience and planning just like programming does it's like using two sides of my brain together that's a really beautiful connection i love how you're seeing creativity in the logic i think that's what make innovator stand out Balancing schoolwork, coding, robotics sounds like a lot. What's your secret to managing everything without just burning out? Uh, I make a schedule and stick to it. I set small goals every day and reward myself when I complete them. I also make sure to rest and have fun with my friends. And I like to play football or play chess, so it keeps my mind balanced. I believe if you can manage your time well, 
you can do so many things without getting stressed out well i should learn time management yeah. from you now and uh, what rewards do you give yourself you mentioned you give yourself rewards so, so uh, what are those rewards so for me i i love to play football and chess so i might get uh, extra time uh, to play football with my friends oh wow that's nice but also one more question do you ever take tech free days like oh this day i will not do any coding or this day i won't do any robotics i love to do coding and robotics so it doesn't i it doesn't come to my mind to take a holiday from <laughs> that is truly passion and perseverance etanch like too good <laughs> What's been the biggest challenge you faced so far in your journey and how did you overcome it So my biggest challenge was understanding some advanced coding concepts at a very young age At first I got stuck many times and even felt like giving up but I kept trying different ways like watching tutorials reading forums and experimenting I learned that mistakes aren't failures they are lessons Every time I fixed an error, I became more and more confident. That's really efficient, Hetan. I really loved how you shared that. It's so easy to look at success, but the effort and the struggle happens behind it. That's true. Hetan, how was the feeling when you won in the MUN, the Best Young Delegate Award? I felt very good, and uh, I had worked very hard for the award. I made many substantive chats I gave many speeches and I uh, I made many new friends I got a whole new opportunity to explore uh, UNHRC my committee even my MUN is coming up in a few days now can you please help me with it just focus on uh, your uh, on the logic you are providing give some facts recent facts and uh, like statistic data statistic data but don't make it too complicated yeah obviously yeah. thank you so much okay that was such a cool chat from python to poetry but now it's time to shift the gears and switch to something a little more fun it's time for a round of this or that are you ready yes coding or writing coding chat gpt or google google i would choose chat gpt it helps me a lot robots or ai robots late nights or early mornings early mornings coding with snacks or coding with music coding with snacks even i would code with snacks even though i don't know how to code <laughs> group projects or solo missions group projects logic or imagination imagination even i would choose imagination Wow, hey Tanj, those are really nice picks. I can totally see the connection between logic and creativity you have over here. Here's the signature question: What's one childhood memory you wish never fades away? My trip to Japan was very wonderful and uh, full of technology, and uh, I visited one a mall which is known as Akihabara, and it is uh, really big, and I was fascinated uh, seeing the techno world over there. Oh, the one on Shibuya crossing? Yeah, that one. We, even when I went to Japan, even I loved it because the place is so nice. Yeah, and it was amazing over there. Even I loved my experience in Japan. All right, now it's time for my personal favorite part of this episode. Would you rather? There will be two options, and you got to one pick one quickly. No thinking for too long. Okay. Would you rather never have to do homework again or never have exams again? I uh, never have exams. exams again. <laughs> Would you rather have the ability to read minds or predict the future predict once the a day? Predict the future. Predict the future. Even I would I would like to read people's minds. Would you rather be the funniest person in the room or the smartest? Smartest. Well, you already are. <laughs> would you rather be able to pause time or rewind it? Pause time. Would you rather build a robot that could do all your homework or a one that can read your teacher's mind? A one that can do all my homework. Yeah, you and I would choose that because reading a teacher's mind doesn't, doesn't make, matter. Yeah. Would you rather invent a machine that controls time or a machine that controls weather? That controls time. 
even i would make that machine with your help obviously because you are a sir, google certified python developer so i will definitely need your help yeah we'll make it together sure wow hitansh it was quite funny and quick yeah it's time for the word of the day today's word is tenacious which means being persistent and determined never giving up no matter how tough things get an example is hitansh's tenacious spirit helped him get success in a highly competitive field thank you i got to learn a lot from you today and i am sure even the viewers are inspired what an inspiring conversation hitansh you have shown us how when curiosity meets hard work even the sky is in the limit for you thank you for joining us today and it has been such an amazing journey from coding to writing and creating poems and everything in between thank you for inviting me i'm glad to be here oh it's my pleasure how was your experience on the unedited minds today i really enjoyed my time here and i love the pa- platform that you created for uh, young achievers like us thank you so much hitan i hope you had a wonderful time yeah. too to everyone watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to the unedited minds if you have a story to share fill out the google form in the description link below and maybe you'll be our next guest until next time stay curious stay kind and remember the world doesn't need perfect it needs real bye, bye. would you rather build a homework that could do all your robot <laughs> will you make a it's not what वाह भाई तान मजा आई गई